Caddis Maximus here. Sorry about my voice, still getting over the flu and getting into making videos. Well, getting over the flu is just the way life goes sometimes. This is the Astro Pneumatic Fractional or Standard Stubby, or they call them Nano Hex Drive Impact Socket Set. I do did get the Sunex set, and interestingly enough, the Astro Fractional set was cheaper than the Sunex, but the Metric set was cheaper in the Sunex than it was in the Astro. And I was going to do a video about both of them at the same time, but really the Astro warranty is not quite as good as the Sunex one. And I just want to get that out of the way. They do offer a lifetime warranty, but it's to the original user, so they're going to ask for proof of purchase. I did a little research online, and that's what people kind of found. Is Astro's okay about the warranty, but uh, they've been getting more strict about it, even with the hand tools. And I think it's one of the reasons why I haven't been so fond of Astro. It's been a while since I bought any of these. Astro does have a 17 millimeter kind of ratcheting box wrench to use with these. As we can see here, they have a little undercut so they can fit in the kind of like a uh, through ratchet, like the through ratchet socket sets except for their 17 millimeter drive, not 19, so you do need to get a separate special one. There's a little trick to that. Anyway, uh, and the other thing about Astro's warranty is they really try to push you off onto where the reseller, and you know, they have adequate proof of purchase, and that's kind of the lame thing about the Astro's, and it may be why these were so cheap, 20, like $23.50 or something for the set really pretty cheap and it may be because uh, Astro just doesn't support their products quite as well as say Sunex which has a very generous warranty. They also have a little bit false here. They talk about these sockets being 15% shorter than other stubby impact sockets and uh, I have a Coke in here. I have the laser pneumatic ones here and both of these are pretty much the same length. If we take a look here can see that the Astro and the Laser, some junk on there, and the Koken are all the same height. So it seems any manufacturer that's really offering truly stubby sockets, they're going to be, they say, 0.88 inches, which is kind of interesting, 7 eighths of an inch long or so. So they're just going to match other brands. And they're kind of interesting that they have this whole like breakdown that they come just for a socket set. Anyway, that's kind of the little comparison with these. Not a lot else to say. They do have a pretty thick drive size or drive end. And they even advertise that superior material thickness between socket body and drive. And I, it is good to see that. I do have like these, these uh, power torques, which came from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And we can see right at the corners of the hex where it gets pretty thin. These are quarter inch drive, so they're just fine. But when it comes to impact, you do need some extra material thickness, otherwise you risk just splitting out the wall. So it is good to see that they do and did include uh, just a bit of extra thickness there. There is a little trick to these. Well, one, they are impact, so they do have a through hole in them. I kind of like through hole sockets in general just because they hold on just a little bit more securely on the ratchets. And actually that little bit of play isn't too bad because it kind of helps you actually get the... Uh, socket onto the fastener and then if you don't and when most people won't have a 17 millimeter you know special wrench the Astro one was 40 bucks I wasn't gonna pay 40 bucks for uh, a special ratcheting wrench for a $23 set of sockets but the little secret is you just get a little piece of plastic packaging or even a piece of paper just anything that you can jam alongside the socket and that's all you need to really get it to hold into a wrench and so that's kind of the advantage of these a lot of my subscribers over the years have talked about uh, using these sockets because of that 17 millimeter, because you can basically get an ultra stubby wrench out of it. And that would be the case here. Like this, this is one of those long gear wrench double boxes. We can put in, it in like this. And now we have just a 7 8 tall ultra stubby, although it's pretty thick right here. Still a very stubby wrench. And can certainly help to get in uh, very high axis or very tight places. Other than that, they're using one of these kind of standard socket rails. But I do like, or I shouldn't say standard, these type of aluminum socket rails have shown been a, more common in the last few years. But a lot of them use like little silicone 
you know, kind of like feet to hold the, keep the sockets from sliding off. And on this one right here, we can actually see, I kind of like this as they made a little plastic clip that just holds on a little bit more securely. I don't mind these aluminum ones just because they're pretty easy to mount on a wall or something like that if you want to use them. And uh, I kind of like the access of these little ball detents. I will say that they do roll stamp them, although it's a little bit light and can be pretty darn hard to read, as well as being laser etched, although the laser etching is also pretty small. So they can be a little bit hard to read. Other than that, for how cheap they were, I think they are pretty good. Uh, I just think Astro could really improve and be more competitive with the warranty on their hand tools. Other than that, I do like that they have like a straight shank so that you can get uh, in the tighter places using the smaller sockets. They have a little lip on them so that they won't fall through when you are using them with a the wrench. And they are pretty short. I mean, if we do compare, we got a standard high impact socket here. So they are quite a bit shorter than a standard impact socket. I did want to mention their claim of whatever it is, 30, 35% shorter. It is true, short while impact sockets do kind of vary. As far as my six point sets, uh, like this Craftsman, it's a little bit shorter than the Tecton. The Tecton here is a little bit longer, so it may be 35% shorter than some sh short while impact sockets, but not all of them. And I did want to point that out as well. Overall, I think that same manufacturer is actually making both the Astros and the Sunex ones. It's just Sunex uh, stands behind their product just a little bit better. Where Astro Pneumatic, you know, being there, uh, they're really uh, are more about pneumatic impact tools. And I think they sell sockets and other stuff just to kind of go along with their power tools rather than really being a hand tool company with some power tools like Sunex is. Anyway, that's all I have about these. <laughs> So as I mentioned, it's a quarter inch through three quarter inch and a 10 piece set. So it's by 16th, but they do have a 930 seconds. So overall, it's pretty good. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the way that these slide back and forth on this socket rail. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Cat is Maximus out.